y'all, what's up? My name is Avery and welcome to my Skywagathon reading vlog. So me currently, I have already finished Skywagathon. It is the last day. Um, it's almost midnight. So Skywagathon has ended for me. But this is my little intro discussing and telling you what Skywagathon is about because I never really talked about what it actually is in the reading vlog. So it's going to be my intro for y'all. Okay, so Skywagathon is a pirate themed readathon reading experience but none of the books you have to read have to be pirate themed basically you have a map is pirate themed so every challenge will lead you closer to treasure that's the whole piratey aspect of scallywagathon but this theme was space i'm pretty sure that's why this looks spacey <laughs> but basically you have a few rules where you have to go to four different stops to get to the X marks the spot kind of thing. And so these are all of the challenges and it corresponds with the planet or the place you're supposed to go in your quest to get the treasure to win the readathon. So looking at the map, I already decided to go the route of four, seven, C10 to go in that route. Hopefully this is making a lot of sense too. <laughs> but yeah, I found out about this readathon from Allie from Hardback Quarter, but there are two different um hosts as well they are the channels read all the books and paper fury and obviously ali from hardback order that i just talked about i will leave all three of their channels linked down below i had a really fun time doing this and i hope y'all have fun time watching my reading vlog i have been having some health issues recently if you couldn't tell by how not so great i look i get more in detail about the specifics um in this video so stay tuned for that it's in the next clip i'm pretty sure and then i read some great books i read some not so great books so you'll see what happens so anyways i hope y'all enjoy the reading vlog i know i'm in my closet but it is 10 45 at night everyone's asleep and i don't want to get my filming equipment out and this is the best lighting in my room so we're gonna roll with it. <laughs> hey y'all, it is the first day of Scally Wagathon. I actually did not plan on doing this readathon like at all, but the day that I came out with my May TBR, Allie from Hardback Quarter came out with the announcement for Scally Wagathon on her booktube channel. So I didn't even know about it until I started my May TBR and it was already posted. I've been really wanting to get into more readathons because I'm not in school for this semester. I decided to take the semester off. I think I have a little bit more leeway since I just have a job instead of a job and school. It is already like 10.45 at night. That's why you see me in my towel and my PJs and my glasses. I did not feel up to filming earlier today because last night I had another one of my blackout episodes. Um, if you don't know what I'm talking about, I will leave a link down below to my life update video I posted a couple videos ago. Basically I'm having some really weird, not so great health issues at the moment where I'm blacking out and yeah, we still don't know why because I'm on I think like day 10 of like a really organic diet that's supposed to help me, hopefully help me. Apparently it didn't work. <laughs> So I'm still going to be on that diet though for like, it's supposed to be a 30 day trial to see if it helps, but I'm on day like 10 and it didn't. So, but we're going to keep pursuing it. I'm going to keep pursuing it and see if it works in the end. I really hope it doesn't though because this diet is kicking my butt because I'm only allowed to eat basically like fruits, vegetables, chicken, fish, eggs, because I don't eat red meat, like protein powder and rice and sweet potatoes, sometimes regular potatoes, beans. There's not a lot I can eat. So it's kind of kicking my butt at the moment because I have a really big sweet tooth. So all I want to eat is a bunch of Reese's. I think I have something called like a histamine problem. I can't really, I don't know the full extent of it myself. I don't really know how to explain it. But like chocolate and peanut butter, especially nuts, are like big triggers for people who have constant chronic migraines and histamine issues. We don't know if I have a histamine issue, but we're going to see if that is the problem that I have. But according to last night when I had another episode, it might be something else entirely. That's just what's going on in my life right now and why I did not film earlier today because I was not feeling all that great because it happened at like 4 a.m. And so I slept in for most of the day because I was too scared to fall asleep again. But I did start the Scallywagathon today and I ended up already finishing a book. In my route that I decided to go to, I started with four 
um, which is low tide, which means read a book that's less than 200 pages. So the book that I finished and read today is Piper by Jay Asher and Jessica Freeberg with illustrations by Jeff Stolkley. I believe that's how you pronounce his name. But I read this graphic novel today. It's a graphic novel basically kind of about Pied Piper? Peter Piper? Is it Peter Piper? All I'm thinking about is Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. <laughs> the Piper. Like the one who like controls people and animals with like the flute thing. I just saw this at the library and I thought it looked interesting by the cover and I read the summary for it and it looked really interesting to me. It's very short, I think only 140 pages, so I read it in less than an hour. I haven't read a lot of graphic novels before, and this might be my least favorite though. And that's saying a lot because my least favorite graphic novel is V for Vendetta. I think this one is worse than that one. I believe I give it a 2.5 stars on Goodreads for many reasons. I think the one thing that I really, really, really loved about this book was the illustrations because they're so pretty. Here, I'll show you one that I really loved. Like, I love this page. I don't know if you can see that, but... I really loved this page. It was really, really pretty. So I was like very confused the whole time through because they don't have chapter separations and it would just cut from one scene to the next scene with no transition. And it would like cut off in conversations to go to a different scene with another person. Like it was very confusing. There was insta love when she hadn't even met the person yet and she was basically in love with him. Basically just, I, I just, I did, it wasn't my thing. I didn't really enjoy it. It doesn't have that creative rating, so Goodreads either I found out after reading the book. Overall, it wasn't my cup of tea for a graphic novel. So the next route that I'm deciding to go is number seven, which is Blow Down the Man, read a book by a female author. And this is kind of hard for me because I wanted to go with a Ruby Dixon book because I'm almost done with one of the Ice Planet Barbarian books, but I decided to make a challenge for myself for this read-along. If you would have known by my April wrap-up, I have not been reading physically, like, at all because I'm honestly too lazy, maybe, or, like, my health is really crappy at the moment, so I don't have a lot of energy to, like, sit there and physically read a book. That's how I'm thinking about it, so I just like to have all the lights off and read on my phone or listen to a book. That's how I'm feeling, but... I really want to read more physically so I went to my TBR shelf it took me forever to find a book that I wanted to read because I'm making a goal for myself to read all physical books for this readathon so I picked Paper Princess by Erin Watt I don't know like anything about this book the book was recommended to me by my friend Danny who went to high school with me she's one of my best friends um, she recommended it to me a while ago and she really really enjoyed this series but I haven't read it yet. I don't know anything about it. I think it's a hate to love trope romance book. So I love that trope. So hopefully this will be good <laughs> and not put me into a physical reading slump. But I just want to read more physically, y'all. Like that's my goal, I think, for this readathon. Good morning. It is the second day of a Scallywagathon. Last night I made a little bit of progress in Paper Princess. I think I ran to about page 30. But anyways, I just got two packages in the mail today. I thought I'd open them before I head off to work. First book that we have is Night of Cake and Puppets by Elaine Taylor. I am currently reading the Daughter of Smoke and Bone trilogy and I got this off thrift books for four bucks and this is the novella for that series that I'm supposed to read after book two. So I'm excited for this one and I'm glad that I have it now. And the next book. I ordered four books, but only two of them are in right now because if I ordered four books, then I would get a free book, but I haven't picked up my free book yet. Okay, next one is my copy of The Prince and the Dressmaker by Jen Wang. If you would have seen it by a um, reading vlog that I did a couple weeks ago, I um, got this from the library and really, really, really loved it. So I got my own copy for like $4. But anyways, yes, I'm going to go head off to work and I will talk to y'all later. Hey y'all, it is later in the day. It is late at night. It's almost midnight. Yes, we are in my closet again. <laughs> um, main reason is because it has the best lighting in my room and it is a quiet space for me to film and I'm not going to be waking up the other people in my house. But anyway, I've done a lot of reading today. I don't know if I updated y'all about what I read last night, but I read around 30 pages of Paper Princess by Erin Watt last night and I am already on page 155, which is great for me. I'm flying through this book so far. I haven't been physically reading in so long, so I'm really surprised that I'm flying through this book. 
So far, I'm really enjoying it. Right now, it seems around maybe like a four stars for me, just because there are some elements that are quite bizarre for a high schooler. This girl gets like taken in to this family she doesn't know that's really, really rich. There's like five brothers and the dad of them, and the brothers are all dicks to her. <laughs> and so, I'm, I think this is a romance book though, and I think she falls for one of the brothers, but like all the brothers are horrible to her, so I don't understand how this can happen. <laughs> I'm really confused, and I don't really want her to be with one of or any of these boys because they're like not great. Like even some of them are like like jokingly trying to like get with her to scare her into submissiveness, which like really irked me. I don't think that's something to joke about, especially if she's like your new sister. But anyway, this dude's just like like telling her how he, she should get with him and like he's throwing himself at her and like touching his junk in front of her. Like, I don't like that. <laughs> I really hope that's not the boy she falls for because that was really gross. I just read a scene that happened that is so unrealistic that like it made me laugh it was so unrealistic that's what's like grinding my gears a little bit is how unrealistic it is with like the girls in this book because i don't think a girl would be that bitchy but like i am really enjoying our narrator and i like how this book is dealing with grief so far um and i love how short these chapters are like i'm having a hard time reading physically and short chapters are just like helping me so much because I feel so accomplished like I'm already on chapter 16 and I'm not even halfway through this book yet like I'm loving that for myself but anyway I am probably going to read a little bit more I'm going to take a shower maybe read a little bit more after that and then head off to bed good morning everybody it is Tuesday I believe but I know I said that I was gonna read some of Paper Princess last night and then just go to sleep but I read way more than I thought I would. I will say this book has this problematic elements to it, but like I'm super addicted to it. <laughs> there have been some scenes where I've been like, ooh, ooh. <laughs> I find some of the characters uncomfortable to read about, but like it's really addicting. So I don't know, I'm on page 260 out of 364 and I'm on page 260. So I have around 100 pages left. I already ordered the next books, the next two books off of Amazon. <laughs> and I got them as like used books. So I only like spent like 12 bucks. Whoever had this before me, like made all the pages stick together. What did you do to this book? <laughs> like it looks like it's covered in like soot or something. I don't know. I think my rating has gone a little bit down a bit of four right now, so. I don't know. Hopefully, I'm pretty sure I'm going to finish this today, so you'll hear back from me when I finish this book. Okay, it's a cut. It's like an hour later. I have to hurry because I have to get myself to work, but I just got another book in the mail from Thrift Books. I got four books, so one more should maybe be coming in during this video, but, but this one is... Oh, The Winter King by C.L. Wilson. This was one of my favorite romance books, I believe last year or the year before that, and I listened to it on audio and really, really, really loved it. So I decided to get myself a physical copy for like $3. It's really pretty and I love this book so much and I think it's due for a reread soon. But anyways, I gotta go because I gotta go to work. <laughs> okay, hi, we're gonna have another little haul. It is later in the day. I just got home from work. I got off early today. My camera, my phone is currently sitting on top of my sister's lizard cage, <laughs> which I think is hilarious, but you find the weirdest spots to find good lighting, I guess. If you want to see him, here he is. Say hi, Gallagher. But anyway, I'm gonna open up this package because it has two new releases that came out today because today's May 7th and like 50 bajillion books was on my want to read list on Goodreads came out today. I know what two books are in here. I forgot in my TBR video that one of these books is coming in, so it'll be new for y'all. So obviously it's May 7th, and so we have The Bride Test by Helen Huang. Oh, 
I'm so looking forward to reading this. This is the same author who wrote The Kiss Quotient, which was one of my favorite romance books. I read her first book last year and fell in love with it because it related to her main character, like, so immensely. I'm looking forward to this one and hopefully I will love it just as much. And the one that y'all haven't seen yet, and I don't really know all that much about, is This Is Not A Love Scene by S.C. Who? Meg Megal. Megal? so sorry probably butchering that but I'll quickly read the summary it says lights camera all Maeve needs is action but at 18 a rare form of muscular dystrophy usually stands in the way of romance she's got her friends her humor and her passion for filmmaking to keep her focus off consistent rejection and the hot older guy starring in her senior film project tall bearded and always swaying Cole Stone is everything Maeve can't be and she likes it between takes, their chemistry is shockingly electric. Suddenly, Maeve gets a taste of typical teenage dating life, but girls in wheelchairs don't get the hot guy, right? Cole's attention challenges everything she once believed about her self-image and hopes for love, but figuring this out both emotionally and physically won't be easy for either of them. Maeve must choose between what she needs and what she wants, while Cole has a tendency to avoid decisions altogether, and the future might not wait for either. This looks so flippin' good. Like, I read the summary for this and I was like, I need more disability rep in my life in books because I have a disability and, like, I think it needs to be acknowledged more in literature because it's so present in society. I also think that food allergies need to be more represented in the book community as well, or, like, books in general. I have not read one young adult book about someone with a food allergy and I have one and like there's so many people out there who have food allergies and like why hasn't someone written a book about a character that has a food allergy like people get on this hi yes hello we're in my closet again it is later in the day actually the whole entire next day because it's 12 30 in the morning and I just finished paper princess by Aaron Watt what the f was that ending oh my god I can't talk about it because it's a huge spoiler because I didn't see that coming like at all <laughs> what the fuck like oh my god I feel so bad for my main character like that sucks like I'm just like so shocked and just really confused <laughs> I don't know what's going on like at all my thoughts are so jumbled up right now I can't even give this book a rating right now <laughs> so confused and kind of grossed out and hurt i don't understand <laughs> this did have its problematic elements in it though like the stereotypical bad boy and stereotypical mean bitch popular girl in school kind of thing i'm just still in like a state of shock i think from that ending i think that's the biggest cliffhanger i've ever read ever holy shit like they obviously want you to go pick up the next book but what happens at the end of this one i'm the type of person who like isn't afraid of spoilers so like i went on goodreads i'm just like looked at all the reviews for the second book and like i, I still don't know anything <laughs> I don't know what's going on at all. But anyways, I should probably pick out my next read. I'm not going to read it tonight, but I'm going to pick it out for tomorrow. Okay, so that took me a little while, but I chose to go the route that has a feared and choose to read a book that you're afraid to read. And my choice is Slayer by Kirsten White. I was actually really, really, really excited for this book before it came out and I pre-ordered it and everything, but I'm also really scared to read it because Buffy the Vampire Slayer is my favorite TV show of all time and like, I don't know what to think of this book. Like, I'm really excited that something's like set in the Buffy universe and maybe I think Buffy's in this book. I, I've just been afraid to read it. <laughs> I haven't done it yet and it's been like four months since I've got this book. So I guess this is gonna be my pick for the feared. Hey y'all, good morning. I just woke up. Oreo, I just got a package and Oreo's rubbing all over it. It is Wednesday, I just woke up. It is the 8th, so I think like day like four of the scaly bug of dawn. And I woke up to a package on my doorstep and I'll unbox this quickly because I gotta get ready for work and go eat some breakfast. So, let's see what's in here. I think I know what this is, but we'll see. Let's see here. We got some. 
some newspaper. Bunch of newspaper. Here's the book, it's in the bag. So a publisher contacted me and was wondering if they would be able to send me Jake's Redemption by Jamie Schultz. I remember reading the back of this and really enjoyed it. Jake Nichols wants the life men lived before war destroyed everything and women enslaved them. When fate forces a temporary reprieve from torment and imprisonment, escape becomes his primary objective until his new captor sparks hope and something far more passionate in his lonely heart. After giving up on romance, Monica Avery, what's up with me reading characters named Avery recently? <laughs> Monica Avery dedicated her life to sheltering fortunate souls from a harsh new society, but then destiny delivered a desperate man to her doorstep, a man she soon discovers she cannot ignore and would do anything to save. Will Monica be able to free Jake from the vicious woman who wants to break him, or will Jake be forced to leave Monica behind to save himself? It looks interesting and promising, and I hope to pick it up soon. I've gotten so many books in this video, I don't normally get this many books in the mail. Ever. Happy Thursday, y'all. Today is Thursday. I am just about to leave for work. I didn't vlog anything yesterday because I didn't read anything yesterday, but I got my final book that I bought off of Thrift Books, and I have one minute to unbox this before I can head off to work. So I'm gonna do that right now. I honestly don't remember what this book is. Okay, we have. Oh my god! Yes, I've been wanting this. I totally forgot I got this book. So I got Unbroken, thir I don't know if you can see that for the glare. It says 13 short stories about disabled teens and being a disabled teen myself. Hi, yes, this is future Avery editing this video. My stupid butt doesn't know my own age and I'm not a teenager anymore. I've been 20 for almost a whole year, so uh, good job, Avery, of <laughs> remembering your own age. I really, really, really wanted this book, so I am so excited. I am so excited. So excited. That's all I can do right now, because I have to go to work, so I will chat with y'all later. Hi, y'all. It is a couple hours later. I am just about to pick up the kids that I nanny from school. I'm in the carpool line, so I have time to read for around 10 minutes. So I wanted to update y'all on what I'm reading. I decided that I'm not going to continue with Slayer. I didn't even start it. And that's because Sam from Thoughts on Tomes, I love her channel so much. I will link it down below. She is one of the biggest Buffy fans, like ever. Like, I love Buffy so much. It's my favorite TV show. It's her favorite TV show. She loves it so much. So I trust her opinion when it comes to Buffy-related things. This morning, I watched her April wrap-up, and she gave Slayer a 1.5 out of 5 stars. She didn't really enjoy it. That's, like, not appealing to me at all. I'm probably still gonna, like, keep it on my TBR, but, like, right now, I just watched that video today. Like, the whole time I'm gonna read it, I'm gonna be thinking, about how much I shouldn't like it. So I'm gonna probably like put that off of my TBR until like Sam's video becomes distant in my brain. <laughs> so I decided instead to pick up Daughter of the Siren Queen by Trisha Levenseller. This does fit the challenge of a book you're afraid to read because I've been putting this second book off for so long just cause like I'm scared finish this duology. I believe it's a duo. I think this is the ending. We're not like 90% sure this is the ending. I'm kind of scared to figure out what's going to happen to our main character. And so I've been putting it off for months. I read the first book a couple months ago and really, really, really enjoyed it. So I've just, I haven't, I haven't picked up the second one. So I'm just going to continue with this series and it fits the Skellywagathon because it's all about pirates. So I think that should be bonus points for me personally. So I'm going to read for a couple minutes before the carpool line opens up to pick up these kids. Hey y'all, happy Friday. It is um, May 10th right now. 
the um, Skywalk Thon ends in two days. I have only read one chapter of my book. I just haven't been in the mood for reading. I've actually been in the mood for booktube watching, so I've been watching a lot of booktube recently. Oh, and I also got my hair done today. I got it re-dyed. You can't really see right now because it's dark outside. Sorry if my face looks a little weird and patchy. Um, I tried out some new moisturizer and um, it burned my skin. Yeah, it's having some bad after effects. It's really red. Um, but anyway, I have been really in the mood for booktube watching because I haven't really been doing it for the past couple weeks because my health hasn't been the greatest and I haven't have found the energy to type out comments for the videos I watch and I won't watch a booktube video unless I know that I'm ready to type out a comment because I love typing out comments. So what I love to do is when I clean my room, I love to watch booktube and my room needs some desperate cleaning even though it's like 10 30 at night i need to do it i'm awake i'm in the spring cleaning kind of mood right now so what i like to do is my television is behind y'all it hooks up to my apple tv and i can play booktube off of there so what i do is i watch the video on there but then i type out the comments on my laptop like i have the video playing on my television but i also have the video pulled up on my computer but it's not playing on my computer. I just have it up so I can type something. I like to make comments while the videos go, go along. But what I wanted to do is while I clean my room, I wanted to do a time lapse video of y'all kind of seeing which booktube videos I'm watching today. Hopefully that's entertaining. I thought that would be way more entertaining than watching a time lapse of me cleaning my room. I'm just going to face my camera towards the screen and do like a time lapse video of the booktubers that I watch and I will leave all their links down below. I'm gonna put a little um, caption, I don't know on which side of the screen, of what booktuber they are and their channel name. So maybe y'all can find new booktubers to watch. But anyways, I'm gonna get started and clean my room. <laughs>
Good morning, everybody. It is Saturday the 11th. You can see my dye job. You can also see a little bit on my skin of the dye. That always happens, but it goes away after a little while and after my first wash. So you can also see the full extent of my burn. It hurts so much. <laughs> so I have an Aveeno face wash but I always used a Burt's Bees face moisturizer. But when I was at the store, I went to H-E-B and they didn't have the Burt's Bees moisturizer that I just ran out of. So I found an Aveeno one and I was like, oh, since I washed my face with Aveeno, I think it's safe to use a moisturizer from them because I have really, really, really sensitive skin. So I was like, oh, it has to be fine. And then I have burn marks on me. I have since then gone and bought the Burt's Bees one again, so I've been smothering my face in it. I'm trying to get rid of this because it hurts so bad right now. I don't know if I'm a complete Scallywagathon, to be honest with you. Um, I'm gonna hope that I can read Daughter of the Siren Queen. By the end of the, the night, it's around like 350 pages and I'm on page like 30. <laughs> I read a little bit this morning, but tomorrow is Mother's Day and my dad and I are not busy today, so we are taking a little day trip to go visit my grandma, who lives a couple hours away, so we're gonna be doing that, so maybe I can get some reading in then. I get car sick very easily, so I might not be able to do that. This freaking chemical burn is kicking my butt right now. I just look chapped and red. It's later in the day. I'm just here in my bed, cuddling with Mr. Ori. Ori, you wanna say hi? Do I say hello? Oh, yes, you want to say hello? Oh, come on. Come on. You just want attention. Anyways, it is later on. It's almost midnight. I haven't read anything of daughter of the siren queen um and i'm supposed to be read have read it by tomorrow and one other book by tomorrow i'm gonna try and read as much as i can tonight i won't be disappointed or anything if i don't finish it i don't think it's that big of a deal but it would be nice to finish it so i'm only on page like 30 i also love reading with like asmr videos on the background like a room asmr to like fit the theme asmr rooms their channel they have a bunch of harry potter themed rooms and i love the library one that they have i put it on a lot when i read it just sucks me in to the book <laughs> um but i actually found a pirate ship one to do my pirate book with with like ship sounds if you just type in pirate ship asmr it's like the first video sounds pretty good so I'm gonna have that on while I read this sucker. Hi y'all, it is the last day. I didn't vlog earlier today because it's Mother's Day, so I decided to spend the day with my mom. I'm going to wrap up this readathon. So I started out the readathon completing challenge number four, which is low tide, read a book less than 200 pages. For that, I did Piper by Jay Asher and Jessica Friedberg with illustrations by Jeff Stokely. I believe I gave this one a 2 out of 5 stars. I think it would have been way better if we would have had some chapter indicators or certain conversations would have been finished and the insta love wasn't that bad. Like overall just uh, not a well written graphic novel in my opinion. Next is prompt 7 which is blow down the man and it is read a book by female author. I finally found out that this is written by two authors after reading this book but this is Paper Princess by Erin Watt. This was a very interesting read. There were things I did not like about this book and there were some things that I loved and was so sucked into. The ending was whoa. <laughs> I was not expecting that ending whatsoever. Things I didn't like with the men in this book. I believe I ended up giving this book a 3.5 out of 5 stars. The way that these brothers acted, I could not get over. Even though our main character seemed to, I could not get over how these brothers acted towards her. And I don't think it's okay, personally. And my copies for the next two books are coming in later this week. I am going to be continuing on with the series nonetheless. And finally, I made it to page 136 of Daughter of the Siren Queen by Trisha Lavenseller. And this was to complete prompt C, which is a feared read a book that you have been afraid to read. 
Um, I have been afraid to do this one because I was really scared for a main character and I didn't know what was going to happen to her and I really have been putting this book off for months. <laughs> so I am almost halfway through this one and I'm really enjoying it. It's going by really, really, really fast for me. I only read a little bit today because as I said, I was busy. It's Mother's Day. So I don't really care that I didn't complete Scallywagathon. Um, I think I did great personally because my goal throughout this whole thing was to read more physical books and so far I've read two and a half physical books this month which is great for me. It's better than last month. I only read one. <laughs> so I'm gonna give myself a pat on the back for that. I hope y'all enjoyed this reading vlog. I hope it wasn't too long for y'all. Um, let me know down in the comments below if you've read any of the books that I have, if you want to start a conversation about any of these books, please let me know. And let me know if you completed Skywagathon. I would love to know. Anyways, thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you all soon with a new video. Bye!